Jaden, congratulations on winning the award. What does it mean for you? It's a real honour to win this award. Um, there's a lot of great players um, that are out there and to be chosen the best player of next gen is really, um, really good for me and for my family. I'm sure my family will be proud of me and I just got to keep working. This is not the, the end of it. Um, yeah, I'm just really honoured. Thank you very much. Let us talk a little bit about your way. When you were a child, a kid, yeah. um, was there a special moment you realized you were better than other kids? And I never really looked at it in that way, um, being better than anyone, because everyone has their own speciali spe specialities of, of obviously being good as a football player. I just always felt like if I worked harder than everyone else, then I would stand out more. And that's what I kept on doing. And obviously, it's, it's, it's paying off. How much did you work on your skills um, outside of regular training sessions? Um, I used to do a lot of ball sessions with my friends, obviously, when I was back in London. And obviously that's where we practice our skills, where we play 5v5s on the street. And yeah, that's where usually we practice. Here in Germany, people love the word Straßenfußballer. It's street footballer. Street football, would you yeah. describe yourself as something like that? Yeah, I would class myself as a street footballer, obviously, becoming like Playing, that's where it all started, was on the street and yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I progressed and made it this far. How big was the influence of Raheem Sterling? Obviously him coming from London as well and him getting so far at a, such a young age, um, I felt like I can relate to him because obviously being from London and even him coming from street football as well, me and him have a lot of similarities so, um, and especially when I was in England he would speak to me a lot and tell me, you know, what to do and you know just to block things out if something won't go in your way but so yeah he helped me a lot can you name the um people who have been most important for you to become what you are as a footballer now um there's there's a lot of people that have helped me on the way and i'm just thankful for them and and i'll always be thankful forever and without them i wouldn't be here today i don't think to just keep me grounded and just keep me focused I've spoken to Marco Reus about you yeah. and he said um, there are only a few players who are so complete in this age. Mm. Nevertheless, you have to continue working yeah, yeah, hard. Yeah, of course, of course. So, um, how do you see the future for you? Um, I, I look at it as um, I just got to keep on working hard and helping my team in every game we play. And I think if I stay like this, um, I think I could do a lot of things with BVB. And hard working is the key and is the way forward. We talked to some people who hopefully know you well, yeah. and nearly all of them said um, you have been always confident. Yeah, yeah. Um, can you just tell us where does it come from? Um, I think it just comes in with, within. Um, it's. I think it's probably because when I was younger, I always used to play with older, older boys, and I feel like every time I kept on playing with them, I, I felt more confident and confident, and obviously. I just feel like now I'm playing with older boys again, you know, so it's, it's, it's probably just back then, obviously just learning how to play with older boys and not just not my own, own age and I feel that's helped me a lot on the yeah. way. So that has helped to become major more quickly? Yeah, yeah, mature more quickly and obviously grow, grow up on the pitch also, so. How would you describe yourself um, as, a, as a guy off the pitch? Um, I feel like... Um, I'm chilled, I'm vibey, I, obviously I like to have a good time, um, yeah, just, just fun, I would say, I would say fun. And you're funny as well, Marco Roy said. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> to take a deeper look to the future, yeah. is winning the Ballon d'Or or um, the Goal 50, which is a award for every player, Okay. is it a goal for you? Um, of course, I feel, I feel like that should be everyone's, every, every player's goal, obviously, dreaming to win Ballon d'Or and obviously, Likes of who's won it previously, like Leo Messi, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, Modric, um, Ronaldinho. All these greats have won it. So I feel like that should be a big inspiration to everyone in the world that plays football. How exactly do you deal with um, goals? Do you set goals yourself on your personal development? Um, um, or Yeah, I, I set personal goals. Um, For example? Just like, just, just little things, just little details, like working on my left foot. Um, shooting quick, um, getting in behind the defender um, earlier and quick and you know just popping it off and know, know when to shoot, know when to pass so yeah I just, I've just got to keep on working on that and 
hopefully that will improve me as a player.